Alright fellas, so any fan of CS will remember when the magical day arrived that Valve finally released a new operation after many long years. The Shattered Web Operation. It brought new collections, stickers and even character skins as well as a new case. Now at first there wasn't too much hype about this new case, the skins in there were honestly kinda shit, with nothing that really stood out, especially the new orbs that came with the new collections. Because of this, the Shattered Web case just followed the same trend as most cases when they're released. Hover at a high price for a couple of days or weeks so all the streamers open them, and then they start to slowly drop down in price as the hype around them dies. Suddenly though, some keen-eyed players started to realise the Shattered Web cases had stopped dropping in-game. Gabe had used his unimaginable power and cut the line, they were discontinued. Now, this news spread faster than the Australian wildfires, and lots of investors and big CS YouTubers such as the man himself, Jesus, started to cover this. Soon every man, child and their fucking dog had started stocking up on these things, and the price almost doubled in a pretty short amount of time. Alright, now that the history's out of the way, that leaves us with the question of the day. Is the Shattered Web case still a good investment now? So, my initial problem with investing now is that so many people bought these things, so the investment could be oversaturated already. For example, if we look at literally the best investment in CS history, the Kato 2014 stickers, these things got so fucking expensive because so little people invested in them. Also, I mean, they do look bloody sick, so that helps. Because of this, the price may not actually rise too much because most of the people that wanted to open them or invest in them have already bought the cases. As well as this, because the skins in the case, as I mentioned, are mostly shit and cheap, not many people are going to want to open them, so it would be pretty hard to justify them selling for a high price. For example, the Bravo case isn't expensive just because it's discontinued. It's because it has the Fire Serpent in it, which everyone loves for some reason. I mean, locally why, the Serpent just looks like a retarded dragon. As much as these are all valid reasons why the price may not increase, there are actually some factors factors that could make it do the opposite. What I didn't mention earlier is that as much as the case has shit skins, the knives in it are some of the rarest and best looking in the game. This means that people who open cases solely for the chance of getting a knife would most likely want to be opening the shattered web because of the super valuable knives that aren't found in any other cases. So taking into account all of these factors, I personally think that the shattered web case is going to be a pretty unpredictable investment. So if you're looking for some guaranteed profit and don't want the risk of a loss, I'd stay away from it to be honest. I also wouldn't say you should buy a bunch of cases now either if you haven't already, because I feel that the price won't be rising much at all for a long time because of the amount of people that hopped on the bandwagon. If you already have splashed the cast and invested in some of these bad boys though, you may as well hold on to them if you're happy waiting a long time for some profit, but only if you bought a pretty big amount. I'd say that anyone who only bought a few should just sell them now, make a little bit of profit and don't wait years to potentially lose money or only make a tiny bit. Alright, that brings me to the end of that. A uh, bit of a different video and a pretty short one I'm guessing. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I'll be doing too many of these because I'm not exactly the best best cut out for CSGO investment tips. But yeah, maybe I'll do a few more of these in the future. If you enjoyed, like and leave some feedback in the comments. Also, don't forget you can get a free 0.5 on Rollbit using code additive. Alright, cheers again fellas and in a bizzle.